Good morning squad, welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm pretty sure is going to be an episode of Summer Shredding and we are starting off a video back at Skylark Golf Club. Club. We are doing weigh-ins and measurements and updates. So we're about three weeks out, actually three weeks out tomorrow until I leave for holiday. So that's sort of my like, new, new goal end date. So yeah, I'm going to do it today and then we're going to come back again probably with one or two days out and do a final reading. I've already done two sets of measurements and reading here, which I'll bang on the screen now. Um, and yeah, so let's see if we've dropped any more body fat, see if we're gaining any more muscle, maintain the muscle, let's see what the crack is. I will tell you that I got on my own scales this morning and I was 74.1, which is actually up since last week I was consistently in the 73s. I had a refeed day on Sunday, it was a hard refeed day, so I'm still a little bit heavy. So that's fine. We'll get through it. Let's go in and do this. Yeah. Sorry if it's hard to catch my fire. Mm -hmm. Kids rock in the RC Fitness Clobber. Okay. We've done our body fat percentages. Kira smashed hers. Um, mine was actually pretty good as well. I'm going to sit in the car and go through all the bits and bobs. Kids, good session. Well done, you. See you in a bit. Oh, I've also got a head to personal training meeting. Also, breaking the fast with a Bearwells protein bar. This is the coconut one and it's absolutely lovely. I managed to pick up about three boxes of these just before they went out of date. So I got them really, really cheap. Right, let's head to the PT meeting and then we'll go through measurements and reading. Here he is. Thank you very much. How are you doing? You right? I need a lover to trust. Tell me you're on my side. Are you down for the ride? It's not easy with someone. We're having some honey Cheerios. I know you can't really see that. Good, quick, pre-gym snack, fast carbs. It tastes great. I love cereal. Right. Let's talk about this. So this is the in-body machine that I've been using the whole time I've been tracking my progress. This is the third time I've been on it. So, in terms of weight, <coughs> Bella. <coughs> trying to make a video here. <coughs> Body weight this time was 74.4. Last time I think it was 75.7, so we've come down. Like I said, that's not the lowest <coughs> weight I've had. I've been a lot lighter than that. Uh, muscle mass. In kilograms, it's 39.3 kg worth of muscle in terms of that, which isn't too bad. I was 39.5, so I've come down 0.2 of a kilo, which is frustrating. But it's, like I said, it's, it's really hard to keep hold of all that muscle when you're cutting. You're going to lose a little bit. Body fat percentage. Now, this is the one that I've really tried my hardest to drop. We're down to 5.8 kilos of muscle on my whole body, which is down... Uh, a kilo and a bit which turns out to be a whole percentage I'm now 7.8 percent into on this uh, on this machine doesn't mean I'm definitely 7.8 percent but in terms of tracking I'm down an extra whole percentage I was 8.8 now I'm 7.8 which is good the aim is to get that about seven flat by the last three weeks which I, I'm confident I can do let's get on to the topic of this video and the topic I want to talk about is five tips to use for the last few weeks cutting to help get you through so you get the best results possible. Okay, so tip one is gonna be, from this point onwards, I'm gonna to try to avoid drinking any of my calories, whether that's coffee, whether that's energy drinks, uh, protein shakes, anything like that, don't drink your calories. I talked about this in previous videos. A protein shake can be up to like two, 300 calories. If you're drinking that and you're, it's got about, say, 30 grams of protein in it, you're so much better to try and get that in through naturally through your diet, whether it be chicken, tuna, eggs. Eating the foods is going to be so important for when you're dropping down to these last few weeks, rather than drinking your calories. So I have to change out what coffee I drink. I'll always be drinking zero calorie sugar free um, monsters from now on. I won't be drinking any calories with carb, any drinks with carbs in it, and I'm going to stop drinking protein shakes just because. Drinking your calories is a waste when there's not very many, not very much time left. Tip two, by the way, shout out Rich for me. Tip two is you still got to lift heavy weights. No matter how far into your deficit you are, you'll give your muscle a reason to stay, so you want to be pushing as heavy as possible 
plus it's going to help when you bounce back and go into that surplus you've got a bit of strength behind you so we're going for 90 for three sets of five with one set in this is set two i hit this for four by six about five weeks ago so it'd be good if we can still get these numbers let's go Feels good. Feels like I've still got about one more in the tank, but we'll save that for the rest of the session. So I just finished 43 minutes of cardio. I'm watching Ben Keeley, the boy. Oh, I need to take a seat. And that brings me on nicely to the next topic, which is time in the gym. If you can afford to spend longer in the gym, do it. Because I've just wrapped up a two hour session there, an hour and 10 in the weights, and 45 on that. And that's taking a big chunk out of the day of me not thinking about food. If I was at home on the laptop or in an environment where I can get food easy, it's a lot harder to avoid it. So you can spend a longer time in the gym. Don't mean that you have to spend two hours in every gym session you've got to smash it out you can still smash a solid workout in an hour but if you have time to do your cardio take your time within your workout do it because it, for me the gym is a sort of getaway time i don't think about food i'm in the zone i'm focusing about getting a solid session in and getting my cardio right so the next tip is adding as much volume to your food for very very little calories do that by eating lots of micronutrients like fruit vegetables berries um, oh, one sec. It's only out. Interrupting my clip, bro. Uh -huh. Right, so like I was saying, micros are your best friend in the last few weeks of the cut. You want to fill up on as much of the salads and the low calorie foods as possible. So you can get like 100 grams of blueberries in for like 70 calories with like something like 15 carbs. So make good food choices when it comes to that sort of stuff. Yeah, and just volumise your fruit. So whatever you have your meal, try and have a big salad with it or a load of berries and stuff like that. Okay, I've got to head out to work. Let's have a next chat in the car. Alrighty then. So the next tip is going to be fast for as long as possible within the day. If you're getting up and eating straight away first thing at, say, 7 in the morning, and then you're training until late and you're working until late and then you go to the gym and blah, blah, and you don't get in until 8, 9, 10 and you're eating then, you're eating... A little amount of calories over a huge window within the day. If you can minimize that for as long as possible, so maybe start eating at say 10 30, 11, and stop eating at say 7 30, that means your calorie intake is in a lot shorter period of time. I don't, don't want to crash into the fence here. A lot shorter period of time means you're less gaps between your food, slightly less hungry. Intermittent fasting is what it's called, I'm sure you've all heard of that. But that is an approach that I like to use, especially when I get deep into the cut. Finally, a little bonus tip is when you're eating your food, use small cutleries. I like to eat my cereal with a little teaspoon. And what that does is that makes the food last a lot longer. Simple as it sounds, stupid as it sounds. That's a great tip for the food to last longer. You take longer to eat it, it means you're less hungry. Is that a mindset thing or a mental thing? Possibly, but that is a tip that I use and it helps me a lot. So. We're going to wrap up this video here guys, this was a spontaneous video so I hope you have liked it, if you have liked it make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.